Thanks everyone for coming to the uh, Carousel Spotlight webinar series, this one on the Common Alert Protocol. Uh, first, I'd like to uh, make some introductions. Um, we are Carousel Digital Signage. Uh, we make cloud-based content management systems for digital signage screens. Um, I am Cullen Gross. I am the sales engineer over here at Carousel. Today, we're gonna be talking about CAP, or the Common Alert Protocol, um, or how to urgently take over your digital signage screens in an emergency controlled by an external emergency system. Uh, the target audience here will be pretty much anyone who has any need to um, use screens to help broadcast information during an emergency. Um, all levels of education, K-12, higher ed, um, but we also have, of course, some options in manufacturing, right? If you're working with, um, in like a facility with like hazardous materials and you have some automated sensors to uh, make alerts, right? This is another great use of that. Um, corporate buildings, right? Um, any sort of owners of sites or buildings or, or if you have multiple locations that you're sort of supporting, um, being able to leverage those fire systems, right? Just for sort of a safety uh, situation. So any in any case where you want some emergency alerts to get on your screen automatically, uh, this is the call for you. A little disclaimer before we hop into it. One, cap, a Carousel's CAP integration is a way for you to augment an existing life and safety system or protocol. Uh, it should not be used as your only resource for conveying emergency messages during an emergency situation. So what are we talking about today? The main thing we're looking to answer is how digital signage can be used to inform an audience during an emergency situation. The primary action to that is to override your standard digital signage content with information about the system, um, about the situation, um, or current steps to be taken in that emergency situation. We're going to break this down to a few parts. First, we'll talk about the manual way to take over screens with Carousel's full screen alerts. Then we'll talk about how CAP helps remove this need for human intervention, um, allowing this to happen automatically or via an, ex via an external mass notification system. And then we'll quickly touch on two hardware partnership specific features, which I think are pretty cool. Uh, and then lastly, we'll close with a Q&A section. So if you have any questions, please uh, type them in the chat uh, to be answered at the end. Okay, so set a baseline. Carousel Cloud handles full screen alerts. Uh, these takeovers by something we call full screen alert zones. Uh, these are essentially empty playlists that when content is added to them will take over any screen subscribed to it. Importantly, you can have multiple of these subscriptions, right? So you can set a priority um, to have like lower and higher ones. Uh, in a situation, a low priority situation, users might want to manually post something, maybe a unurgent call to action or a time specific event, right? Say that the, the play is happening right now in the auditorium and you want to have the play's poster and instructions or you want to kind of take over the screen to mention that the company meeting is happening soon or right now. Um, manual setup of full screen overrides and even scheduling of those overrides um, can be made within Carousel manually to take over screens. Vital to the excess of both non-urgent examples like that and urgent uh, full screen alerts is that you can part out these full screen alert zones by location or floor to help messages go to specific locations, um, which is important when we talked about a scaled out system. So there's a lot of options here to prioritize, categorize, and target specific screens when it comes to full screen alerts. However, when we talk about emergencies, time is an essential factor. Having to log into your digital signage CMS to make an alert is already too slow during these events. That's what kind of brings us to our primary topic here today, and that is CAP, the Common Alert Protocol. CAP is an open and standardized method for emergency systems to relay information between themselves, greatly reducing the technological barrier for integrations. This allows everything we talked about with manual alerts to happen, but automatically, without anyone needing to log into Carousel to turn on these alerts, because another system, which is dedicated to life and safety, is sending us instructions, and that is done via CAP. 
So what we're kind of spotlighting here is a very agnostic and standardized way for a dedicated third-party emergency system to tell Carousel via CAP what content needs to be on specific screens um, relative to the specific emergency that's happening and to have that displayed full screen to make that sure that no one misses it. Now these external orchestrators of events are usually called mass notification systems. On the right, we have listed a few examples that we've worked directly with in the past, including Single Wire Informacast, Rave Mobile Safety, Synapse Revolution, Crisis Go, and Everbridge. Uh, now, this is not an exhaustive list. Remember that CAP is a standard and open, so there are many, many other services, including possibly custom in-house ones, um, that can send CAP messages to Carousel to make these overrides. Now, each of these mass notification providers do much more than just CAP, including integration with other systems like fire panels, 911 response, text and desktop alerts. In some cases, post-emergency support and follow-up. If you don't have an existing mass notification system or response plans, one, you will need that to leverage the CAP compatibility, um, but two, I would encourage you to look at, into our friends here and other providers to help you solidify your whole life and safety protocol. With that, we can say that Carousel with CAP communication from these providers allows you to augment digital signage as one part of a larger emergency approach, but in an automated way. So an emergency happens, a mass notification system you leverage responds to that event by turning on and sending messages to many systems. And one of those is Carousel, allowing that message to be broadcast on your digital signage screens automatically. Okay, so if so far this just kind of seems like words to you, let's take a look at what this is like in action. For this demo, I'll be using single wire and Formicast Fusion, um, but in a very minimal way. Uh, they've been very gracious enough to provide me with a sandbox to show you this live, so shout out to them. Um, just know that if you're using something else like Rave or Crisis Go, the interaction might be different, um, but the end result will be the same. So uh, make sure that you sort of talk with your mass notification provider. Um, the big thing here is that as long as we can get what's called an HTTP post, um, we can usually work with, with any provider that you might leverage. So what we're seeing here is on the lower left, I have a digital signage screen. So kind of an example of what a screen could look like. Um, in this particular situation, this is powered by an Apple TV, but we'll talk about hardware and how you can kind of use um, any hardware that you need. Um, in the upper right here, I am logged into Carousel and I'm in a full screen alert zone. This particular layout is subscribed to this full screen alert zone. If I made anything in here, if I manually created an emergency alert. Um, if I logged in and, and produced this, um, that would get added to this and the screen would be taken over with that alert, right? But what we're talking about here is how do we uh, remove that step, right? How do we make it so that if an emergency happens, that's going to automatically sort of take over the screen? Um, there's a few things that are important here. One, the push for the alert, right, is something that kind of happens instantly. So you're, you're going to have a, a, a natural delay here about um, less than five seconds typically um, when the alert happens. Um, when you're disabling an alert, um, that can kind of take up to 10 or 15 seconds to take off of your screen. So um, kind of a priority to get that alert up. Um, still pretty quick to get it down. But let me hop into um, Informacast here, right? Now this could be something that I don't need to be logged into Informacast to do, right? Maybe Informacast is listening to uh, a fire alarm panel I have, right? or a button that I physically have there, any sort of sensor, right? Or I have their app and I've pulled it out and I've activated this event like through the app. Um, just I'm just kind of emulating what it's gonna do. But in the case that you had sort of an urgent event, I picked sort of an innocuous sort of um, event here, right? But let's say that this could be anything, obviously fire, lockdown, uh, closure, right? I can have that event happen either by something that a user initiates through one of those means or automatically through like sensors. Um, Informacast would be aware of this event that's happening um, and then it would send out to outbound systems like turn on the 
fire alarm, turn on the lights, turn on the speakers, and also take over the screen, right? So over here in the left, you'll see that my carousel signage uh, screen has been taken over. Um, the event is displayed, the content is displayed. Uh, you have a few sort of customization controls here. The big thing is that you can sort of relate media to an event. So if you want to get very, very granular and have like exit maps per location, you can get that specific. If you want to be sort of more broad and just have a specific image that gets shown up during these slides, you can do that as well. Sort of a big thing we can do that's part of CAP is if Informacast is sending text to us, like if you're trying to update the information by like text that you're inputting, um, that text can be sent to the screen and you can sort of live update the screen with, with textual information. If I go back into Carousel, you'll see that I do have Emergency Alert active in that zone. Um, it has taken over my screen just like normal, but it was all sort of done automatically. Now when you're when your system sort of gets the all clear, and that could also be something that's automated, that could be something that you enforce a user to manually, you know, send an all clear, any sort of controls you have there. Um, the emergency notification system can tell Carousel, the situation is no longer active, turn the screen back to the general content, right? So really simple here, whole cap, all caps really doing here is allowing an external system to take over your screens and to put it back to where it was. Inside Carousel, um, if you go, if you have uh, administrator rights and you go into the configure menu, um, under system and then under cap configuration is where you can actually sort of set this up. Uh, we won't dive into all of that on this call. Um, the important things here is that you can sort of set up, pre-set up your cap alerts. You can test them and you can also audit them. So you can audit when they came from, what they turned on, um, where they were from. Um, so you can both do like internal tests of the cap within just carousel and then you can do external um, tests and live production uh, alerts and then audit to make sure that they came and that they actually changed what they needed to change so that's essentially cap right there's really not too much to it really in, in general um, really its goal is to to make you have to do less right in these alert situations and make that sort of be automated so there isn't like a lot of really fun bells and whistles um, it's it's elegance and its simplicity is really sort of what is important i do want to talk about um, uh, a few hardware specific options uh, if you do go to a website and you see what hardware we support um, they all support the full screen alert feature and thus support cap um, a full list can be found on our website like i said um, but we have two very different um, hardware-specific value adds I want to mention, just because they're kind of cool. Um, first, we've worked with one of our partners, Jamf, a device management provider, to create something we call AirPlay Interrupt. Um, say you have an Apple TV in a classroom or collaborative space, and you don't intend for that device to be just signage all the time. You may want to have the ability to still AirPlay your, to your devices um, or use a different app all entirely. Um, when Carousel is in that alert mode, uh, we can send a message to Jamf that says that that's active, and then Jamf can then push a configuration change to the Apple TV, ending that AirPlay session if there is an active one, or switching it away from a different app if they're being used to ensure that that emergency message is seen. So if you have sort of any situation where you want to leverage an Apple TV, and you also want to leverage other functions of the Apple TV, just know that you can have emergency alerts take over any user-initiated um, AirPlay in that case. A second thing I want to talk about is um, sort of a cool thing we have with another provider called BrightSign. Um, this actually isn't anything custom. It's just sort of in their um, sort of like a, a pre preset feature that they already have, right? So say that you have a screen that you don't want to be digital signage at all. Like you don't need it to be. Maybe it's a projector in a room or a large screen you want to display live TV from a set-top box. Really imagine any non-signage use of a display. With Carousel and a compatible BrightSign device, you have the ability to sort of pass through HDMI inputs. So you can plug a HDMI input into the BrightSign, and then you can send the HDMI out to your screen. So you have your set-top box, then it goes to your BrightSign, then it goes to your TV. Um, and in a, in a regular day, nothing is different, right? However, since now Carousel is like in between your HDMI, HDMI device and your screen, 
we can insert the same emergency message over that device. So no input changes or complex RS-232 commands. This is pretty niche, um, but it's a really cool option to add emergency alerts to any sort of already leveraged display. I wanna thank you all for joining us today. Um, we'll have a Q&A section next, but before we go, I want, um, if you wanna learn more about Carousel, please visit carouselsignage.com. If you enjoyed this spotlight, please follow us on LinkedIn to keep up with future content. Our next spotlight will be in June with the focus on Jamf and signage in the Apple ecosystem. Um, if you do reach out to us either via sales to investigate Carousel Cloud or support to um, with any sort of cap assistance, please mention you watch the spotlight. It helps me gauge interest. Um, any feedback can be sent to me. My email can be found on our webpage under about and then our team. Again, I'm Colin Gross, and I appreciate everyone's time and for learning a little bit about the Common Alert Protocol.